Welcome to March's Leetcode Challenge. This problem is called encode and decode tiny URL. As you can see, I missed the deadline, but here we are. We're going to try to solve these. All right, so tiny URL is a URL shortening service where you enter a URL, such as Leetcode Problems Design Tiny URL, and it returns a short URL where it's like tiny URL, some sort of hash number. It's going to be six values, um, combination of numbers and letters, whatever. So design the encode and decode methods for the tiny URL service. There's no restriction on how your encode decode algorithm should work. So that's kind of the big thing here. Uh, how do we generate this random, uh, you know, form of numbers and how can we store all that information inside of here? So here's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to use a two dictionary approach. What I'm going to do is store two dictionaries. Uh, one for the short URLs and one for the long URLs. And you might ask, why do we need two? Don't we just need one? Um, well, the issue is we need some sort of way to s make sure that the encoding that we come up with is has been used. Because even if it's random, it's totally possible we'll reuse it and then there's going to be a collision. So we have to have some sort of a dictionary to track all the short URLs, uh, as well as make sure these long URLs are only connected to one short URL. So what I'll do um, to generate this random number is I'm just going to create a string here and just have all the different letters. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, X, Y, Z, as well as numbers if you like. Um, doesn't really matter. And what I'll do is when we encode it, uh, first, we want to check to see if this URL is inside of our list, because if it is, then we don't need to worry about it. Right? So if long URL not in self.l, uh, then we want to generate some sort of code here. And, you know, I am pretty sure I have to make this a while, because in case the sh code that I generate here has been used, I need to rerun it. So the code. I'm just going to say string join. Um, we'll use the random dot choice uh, with our self dot a. So any one of these values here, and we'll do that six times. So let's see, random choice four in range of six, and this will be a list. So now we have this list of random jumbled letters, and we're going to join that into a single string. So if code not in self.s, then we are going to set it. So self.s, um, this will be code, and this is now going to be equal to the long URL. While self.l, uh, we'll say this is going to be long URLs, now equal to the code that we just generated. OK. Um, so finally, we can just return here the code that we generated. And when we decode, we're just going to return the self.s of the short URL here. All right, so I'm pretty sure that works. Let's just make this check that again. Uh, it's hard to tell there, so let's submit it. And there we go, accepted. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, the real hard part here is to figure out what's the best way to generate this random hash, but I just cheated and used this random choice. Still works, so good enough. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Do not trust me, I know nothing.